Yeah, some folks have gotten a break uh, through a good portion of the day today, Kenny, but we're seeing some things crop up down to our south. They'll have to watch as we go in and through the remainder of the evening hours, but really tomorrow and then on into today, Saturday, we'll kind of see these off and on showers and storms before we clear out for the second half of the weekend. In the 80s right now, 80 Fayetteville and Raleigh, 82 in the Triad right now up in the mountains. Temperatures a little bit cooler there, but still humid. 71 at Boone and 77 at Asheville right now. Got to a high so far of 82 out at the airport this afternoon, a few degrees above normal, our record high high for today's date 98 that set back in 1914 winds have been out of the south and had a southerly component to them. They've been a light to calm a good portion of the day unless you get under a thunderstorm then you can get some gusty winds, but it's that southerly component to the winds that's really bringing in a lot of moisture, humid conditions really from the plain states back out through the deep south, the uh, Tennessee Valley, Ohio Valley, all the way up into New England. Very high humidity levels across the eastern half of the United States right now. When you see those 60, 65 to 70 dew point numbers, it gets muggy even to uncomfortable conditions and that will stay in place as we go through the day tomorrow and then really on into Saturday too before we start to dry things out the second half of the weekend. Here are the showers and storms. There is a severe thunderstorm warning right now uh, until 6 o'clock for Montgomery County and also into areas of Randolph County. So if you live in the Ashboro area while watching these showers and storms, Moore County, Chatham County, and that's until 6 o'clock. Uh, it's had uh, some issues with some uh, hail in it and also some very high winds, wind gusts of 60 miles per hour. And even uh, we've seen some heavy rains with this, so some flooding too. So in those areas, we'll continue to watch this as a severe thunderstorm warning until 6 o'clock for Randolph County down into Montgomery, Moore, and also Chatham County. You see that line that's moving off to the north. We'll watch it with time. Again, we don't need any more rain. We've had the flooding, um, and it will continue where we'll see these rains come down, that there'll be a good chance of uh, flooding across some of those areas that pick up those rains, especially along creeks and lakes and rivers and streams. You can see here the eastern half of the or the western part of the Piedmont has seen the bulk of the rain in the last 24 hours in excess of one, two, even some isolated instances, three to four inches of rain. So it's just not needed anymore. These are some of the rainfall totals we've seen over the past 24 to 36 hours in Ennis over four inches, Wilkesboro over two inches, Lexington and Ashboro over an inch. And again, we may add to some of those totals as we go on in through the overnight tonight and then through the day tomorrow and Saturday too. Flood alerts, a flood warning continues for the Yadkin River at Yadkin College. Uh, that that's a concern too. They should start to see that crest, uh, that river crest as we get on into uh, Friday afternoon. Flood level at 18 feet. It's right now a little over that and should crest at about 24 feet as we get on into tomorrow afternoon and then drop off as we get on into the weekend unless they get more rain in that particular area. So this evening, scattered showers and storms. We'll watch for any severity with them. Locally heavy rains possible. And again, some of that flooding is possible in those areas that do pick up the rain. We continue to get some of this southerly flow, warm, moist air out of the south out of the Gulf. We've got a front well back out over the Midwest that moves through Saturday that cools us and dries us off for Sunday, the second half of the weekend and that low over portions of Western New York. That is what's left of Bertha right now, uh, just creating some rains up over the Southern Great Lakes. Here's our seven day forecast again. Watch for the showers and storms both this evening, tomorrow and Saturday too. temperatures into the 80s. Might even get an evening shower or storm and 76 for the day on Sunday. Notice how we cool off for Monday too and kind of dry and we need these dry conditions Sunday into next week and then on into Thursday. Another chance for showers.